throughout history have had freedom of spirit. All women have it, all women possess it. But it's been stifled by society. Those are the things we need to break through. We need to merge our personalities, the quiet one and the voice that we have, so that we can um, be effective, live up to our potential. We only get a couple chances. I happen to have another chance to become what I want to be, and I'm going to work on taking advantage of it. stainless steel that's 316L and it has 30 different molds. Nothing's fabricated on it. It's all lost wax process. Stainless steel is the same process as bronze. <laughs> Is, is we polish this as opposed to patina. It bronze you heat up to about 500 degrees and then you put these acids on it. But with stainless steel you polish and polish and polish and polish. <laughs> this chair, the pillows I had to hunt for and they were made of down down and some, I finally found them, down in Long Beach as a matter of fact. And when Mrs. Eames, Luca is her name, Luca Eames, when she first saw the chair that was done in stainless, from across the room she said, oh, she used the original pillows, which was amazing, she was able to tell. <laughs> Demetrius gave us the approval to do these chairs. We cast five of them, each one done by hand. You could see all of the texture in here, and this is exactly what I was going for. And to get this piece, as a matter of fact, flat enough, because we didn't have quite the machinery to do it, we had to run this over with a truck. So we built a little ramp, we drove the truck, and we just back and forth and back and forth until we got it to fit into this wood.
One of the things that uh, I'm finding out, the longer I sculpt, the less I know about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And it all comes together afterwards, sometimes years afterwards. done in wax quite a while ago, like a couple years ago, and I just decided to put it into bronze. Women have been put into a very odd position where they've had to have two selves. And the old traditional Victorian way, women had to be like two people, their private self and then their public self. Their soulful and then their public persona. <laughs> some spots. I don't wax my patinas because it changes the color and it really darkens it. And it makes it a mm, little too commercial feeling for my likings. And it ends up looking like pigment on top of bronze, which I think is amazing. Can we get in here? Yes. We need to be merging these two selves into one so that we become more autonomous. I think Emily Dickinson had a poem that said, No rack will torture me. My soul is liberty. Two bodies therefore be. Bind one and one will flee. Emily Dickinson. You start binding one personality and the other has to flee. So I think this 
piece is about breaking some of those traditions and those difficult roles that we weren't able to excel in because we weren't allowed. Now we're allowing ourselves to do that. I mean, even when it comes to age, I think that the women are no longer accepting becoming invisible. As you age, sometimes you become invisible. Well, like hell, we're going to be invisible. We're going to speak what it is we need to speak, sculpt what it is we need to sculpt, run for president. We'll do whatever it is we need to do in order to get our voices heard, but first we need to become unbound. Mm -hmm.